New expanded cosmic wisdom teachings from Archangel Michael and the Ascended Masters Cosmic Council of Light. Archangel Michael, first you must integrate the higher frequency information of the new Aquarian Divine Blueprint, gain its wisdom, and then share it. The time has come for the wisdom principles of the old cosmic teachings of the past and the new teachings of the future to become refined and unified. Beloveds, in this vital year of transformation, will you endeavor to balance and harmonize your cross of matter so that you may once again become a radiant pillar of light? Love note from Rana. Dearest soul family and friends, for some time now I have been receiving information which was overlighted by Archangel Michael but not conveyed to me by him. Some information has been from the Ascended Master's Cosmic Council of Light of our solar system, and some has been from the Ascended Master Dual Cool. I have also received much loving inspiration, guidance, and encouragement from the highest level of my fourth dimensional oversoul higher self, who calls herself Sasha, from our sister galaxy, Abdramana. As I was so directed several years ago, in the instances that inspired information is not directly from Archangel Michael, I identify myself as Rana, Sacred Scribe. My training as a cosmic telepath has now taken me to another level as I prepare to fully connect with my first sublevel, fifth dimensional sacred triad. As soul-infused personalities, we will no longer have an oversoul higher self for we will be directly connected to our entry-level fifth-dimensional sacred triad via our Antikorana column of life, the light. Some time ago, Archangel Michael explained to me, as a messenger of the advanced cosmic information for the new age, when you have integrated the remainder of your soul fragments within the third and fourth dimensions, and you are in the process of gaining access to your entry-level sacred triad within the fifth dimension, it is necessary that you demonstrate your ability to directly bring forth some of the new knowledge from the higher planes of consciousness. This must be accomplished through your own sacred mind heart and expanded intuitive awareness. This process is necessary in order to blend your physical, mental capabilities with your intuitive higher faculties, your connection with your spiritual triad via the sacred mind and heart. The monthly messages will still be transmitted to me from beloved Michael as they have always been. The method over the past few years has been that he directs me to the message he wishes to present at the time. He then updates, refines, and often includes some expanded information. He has told me the masses must first integrate the teachings within the many books of wisdom teachings we have conveyed via our messengers. Then humanity at large will be ready for the advanced information which is now being revealed to our scribes and master teachers. The unified teachings for the new age are now located within a special communication center in the sixth dimensional city of light headquarters. They are then radiated forth and stored within a centrally located fifth dimensional pyramid of light where the new 12 ray hologram of cosmic wisdom, the new Aquarian age divine blueprint, where the Earth and humanity is now permeating this entire solar system and galaxy. As we download the new information and anchor it, it will gradually become accessible to those who are currently experiencing the refined frequency patterns for the three higher fourth dimensional sublevels. Since my rite of passage over the past few years, my life has changed dramatically. I now know what it means to be a soul-infused personality. I have gained some important more refined qualities as well as much better understanding of the divine plan for the future of humanity. It is a plan that has always been in place, ready and waiting for humanity to begin the return journey back into the higher realms of light. My heart is overflowing with love and joy and oftentimes a state of bliss almost overwhelms me. Information from Archangel Michael and the Ascended Master's Cosmic Council is radiating forth into my consciousness at an astounding rate. I assure you, dear friends, the challenges, tests, symptoms of ascension are not a punishment. They are all a part of our process of transformation so that we may gain access to our new wondrous world hologram of tomorrow. 
If you feel you are ready for the giant leap in self-awareness being offered, please state your intention. You will then be directed to the information and the group that is appropriate for you. This unique time of humanity's ascension is a group event. If you are guided to join us, please endeavor to join us in our wondrous journey into our new fifth dimensional world. I promise you won't be sorry. Forever love and angel blessings, Rana. Archangel Michael, Rana, Sacred Scribe. Transforming your cross of matter into a pillar of radiant light. My brave ones, it is time for everyone to awaken to the fact Humanity and the Earth are in the midst of an accelerated evolutionary process. That is the miracle of these times, beloveds. The Supreme Creator is radiating throughout the Omniverse the full spectrum of divine light. This powerful pure light is filtering through each great central sun, the mansion world of the co-creator God of each universe, and then out into every level of creation. This is to ensure that gradually every spark and fragment of creation will have access to the appropriate level of creator consciousness. Remember, you are living in the midst of eternity. The messages of cosmic wisdom we bring you are not to set more rules or create new dogma. Our intention is to set your hearts afire with love and to give you a glimpse of the glorious future before you. As more and more of the masses are feeling the discontent initiated by their soul self, it is vital that the wisdom teachings of ascension are reviewed and shared with those around you. You, the awakened starseed souls, are the ones who will now spread the emerging wisdom teachings of the future. The light of creation or adamantine particles are now being made available to every soul that has ever been created. However, there are some rules that apply to this light redemption process. Each soul must prepare their vessel by lifting their vibrational patterns to a certain level of harmonious frequencies in order to receive these particles of God light. You must remember, after receiving these particles of light, they must be activated by your loving intention. Love is the power source, the generator of these precious particles of the source of all. Ascension is about lifting, balancing, and harmonizing your vibrational pattern so that many facets of your divine self may descend and take dominion within your sacred heart core. As you delve more deeply into the wisdom of the cosmos, it is of vital importance that you maintain a state of mindful awareness. Humanity is emerging from a state of amnesia or what could be called a limited awareness of self and of the complex vastness of creation. We have explained in the past, however, it is time to refresh your memory about what is taking place as you traverse the many levels and sub-levels of consciousness. As you clear the distortions within your auric field, there is also an important internal process taking place. Your entire physical structure is undergoing complex changes, vital and necessary changes which are triggered by the higher frequency patterns you are integrating from the Creator Source via the great cities of light. Your DNA, your chakra centers, and your sacred heart and mind contain your new divine blueprint. As you integrate more of the higher frequency memory seed atoms of the God Consciousness, all the distortions and imperfections you have created from the concepts you have accepted as your truth are slowly being rectified. Many of these lower frequency concepts are being filtered into your conscious awareness to be healed or eliminated. We understand that this can be an uncomfortable, disconcerting process. You have a sacred heart center of existence within your sacred heart called your Diamond Core God Cell for this sub-universal experience. You have around you an etheric third, fourth dimensional grand triangle of existence which contains the pillar of light and the cross of matter that you have built down through the ages. You exist in a golden ovid, a hologram which expands and radiates more and more divine love light as you resonate to higher, higher frequencies of consciousness. Adamantine particles of divine light contain living energy which has been programmed for a specific divine blueprint. When you access this creator essence, you must activate it with your loving intention. You must then program it with the desires of your oversoul, higher self which are always in harmony with your personal divine blueprint. On the material planes of existence, the creator light must be encoded and activated with your essence 
the co-creator before it is ready to be radiated out into the world of form. It takes great courage and tenacity to become self-aware and soul conscious. A constant attitude of gratitude and thanksgiving is sustenance for the soul. You are becoming very proficient in analyzing new concepts and the plethora of information that is now available via the empowering gift of discernment. Now that you are more attuned to spirit and the voice within, you can quickly ascertain if a concept is in alignment with your inner truth. If it is not, it behooves you to discard it without malice or judgment. Or if you are not sure, put it aside and ask your higher self to validate it for you in some unmistakable way. We are aware that you are being bombarded with many new concepts, some of which are stretching the limits of your conceptual understanding. Beloveds, please be aware that what you are experiencing is all part of the reunification and ascension process that is affecting all humanity and the earth. Many of you are experiencing miraculous events in your lives and we ask you to be bold enough to share these wonders with your friends. Do not fear ridicule or criticism. You will find approval more often than disapproval and interest more often than disdain. The religious community, partially out of fear of losing their following, are beginning to incorporate some of the more moderate cosmic teachings. While it matters not how or why, it is all for the benefit of humanity and it will assist in speeding up the transformation process of Earth and its inhabitants. A part of the initiation process is to surrender all that you hold dear, all that you possess in your divine self for the highest good of all. This does not mean that you will lose what you surrender. It means that you are willing to allow the divine plan to work through you which is always for the highest good, even though it may not seem so at the time. Do not be dismayed if your past is becoming only a hazy memory, especially the painful memories you experienced during this lifetime. It is time to heal and release the past, beloveds. It no longer serves you to delve into past lifetimes in order to heal yourself or try to understand why you are acting or reacting a certain way in the present. That is the old way. The distortions of consciousness you created in the past cannot exist when you fill yourselves to overflowing adamantine particles through the process we have taught you. These magical particles contain the pure perfect essence of the Creator which will gradually transform and transmute any distortions in your auric field and your physical vessel. Slowly but surely the imperfections you have created both in your inner and outer worlds are being rectified. Remember, a slow, steady pace forward on the path leads to self-mastery. It is the ego desire of personality that continually wishes for more information and dramatic validation. It forever seeks excitement, drama, and sensationalism. It has taken a very long time for the earth and humanity to reach the present state of imperfection that is now so prevalent. The level of transformational progress that has been made by you, the earthly way showers, and spiritual world servers, in such a short time is truly miraculous. Those now firmly on the path of enlightenment have proved beyond a doubt the premise. With each higher frequency level you attain, you leave behind those situations, people, and things that no longer are compatible with your new level of awareness and resonance. The multidimensional doorways of the past are closing and the doorways of the future are opening at a much faster pace as the process of ascension accelerates. The fear of change has been a major controlling factor within your conscious awareness for a very long time. In the beginning of your journey into density, you sought a great variety of self-expression and change and you delighted in each new creation. It has only been during your earthly experiences that you have forgotten that you were a co-creator endowed with a full measure of creative abilities and that you have a direct link to the power source of creation which has been named the River of Life or the Antikorana. You, the Starseed Vanguard, who have diligently labored to refine the resonance of your physical vessel and upgrade your emotional mental nature in order to return to an accepted level of duality, are now in the process of clearing the residual imbalanced frequencies within the higher dimensional planes of the fourth dimension. You have harmonized your personal seven seals of higher consciousness and thereby activated your personal rod of power. 
You are now in the process of clearing and refining your cosmic column of light so that you may exist in a world of your own making which consists of the three higher subplanes of the fourth dimension. Most of you who have faithfully followed our teachings have tapped into a stream of frequencies composed of a variety of entry-level fifth dimensional frequencies as well as a small trickle-down stream of light from the sixth dimension. Beloveds, you are in the midst of creating your new personal formula of light and life within the entry level of the fifth dimension. This is a critical step in the ascension process. When you have succeeded in firmly establishing your soul song residence within the highest fourth dimensional level, you will be ready to move into the entry level phase called the null zone. Before taking this great leap in consciousness, it is vital that you have gained the discipline to stay centered within the required parameters of duality. Your abilities to manifest in the world of form will increase dramatically. Therefore, if you are not well disciplined mentally and emotionally, you will create more chaos, which will most likely draw you back into a denser frequency pattern hologram. We will give you more details about the null zone in the near future. Brave warriors of light, are you ready and willing to journey out into the unknown as a pathfinder? To join the pioneers of light who are blazing the trails into the realms of the heavenly mansion worlds within the fifth dimension? Each higher dimensional level offers new opportunities which will give you access to many new abilities and to expanded wisdom. However, each level will also challenge you in many ways and will require you to release those things which no longer serve your highest good. You left many facets of your greater self along the way as you traversed the descending path to the lower dimensions. Now, as you make your return journey back into the higher realms of love, light, you must also be willing to release those people, ways of being, and things which no longer fit in your present and future reality. This is necessary so that you may begin to integrate and refine higher conscious facets of your fifth dimensional sacred triad. Beloveds, we are assisting you in every way possible within the limits of universal law. We are also waiting patiently for you to join us in the various pyramids of light in the fifth dimension. We have told you that you are not only integrating your personal divine blueprint for the new age, but you are assisting in anchoring and activating the new Aquarian age divine blueprint on and within the earth. Also, many of you already are and many more are becoming pillar of light sentinels for humanity. We convey to you all the radiance of sacred love, light that you can integrate and share. You are loved beyond measure. I am Archangel Mikael.